Okay, so there's a reason why you clicked this video in the first place. You want to know how to get better performance in REST. Plain and simple. Okay, so, as you know, there are a tons of videos on how to increase performance for REST. When people tell you, like, okay, this is why you're, you're going to disable some of these services. So, um, if you disable some of these, it's going to increase your performance, meaning you get more FPS. Or, hey, yeah, how about you go to your power settings, or turn down your settings, blah, 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 all that, all that nonsense. Okay, now, I want to tell you this. So, so as we know, Rust is uh, a game that's been updating in that the developers have made a, have been moving Rust to a new engine, the UND5. And that Shadows you can't disable or anything anymore, which is a shame, because they, the, they said they want to do it for, they want to have it so that it's fair for everyone. But to be honest, do you, I'm not sure freaking 15 to 20 FPS is fair when it comes to people with like mid to high spec games running at like 30 to 60 frames. Like if I was able to disable shadows, I would be able to play this game just fine. Don't know why they would say that this is like an even playing field. If I'm forced to play on the lowest resolution with the most lowest settings instead of just disabling shadows. So, you know, what the fuck? Anyways, enough with my blah blah blah. Let me just get to the point. Okay, so, um, Rust has a um, config file. So, sorry for this being like that. So, where you can find it is in this PC, local disk, which is your main drive, the game, uh, where you have the game installed, program 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, and Rust. So, we're going to go to CFG. And there's going to be a file basically called client. If you don't have it, don't worry. You can just make the file. All you do is just, you know, you know, do new text and then just rename it client. Uh, but when you do it, you need to put client.cfg to name the file to make it a CFG file. Make sure the, um, the, the whole, like, types of file things on all. If you have it only on text document, it won't work. So, this is why I have my, um, config file. Now this config file I got from Low Spec Gamer. He had lowered everything down to the lowest that Rust will let you go. I even tried to like force it lower, but it does not work. So like you know you can see that. Hmm. Actually no, never mind. Yeah, the game rewrit everything. They put it all on the default. So this is the lowest you can go. This does disable some extra things, so it could help with the frame rate slightly but yeah so this all of this is what i have basically it just turns the game down to the lowest settings it can go so yeah right here so if you're using the intel hd graphics now um just to make sure you like you guys are probably gonna be like hey i already know i already tried that i turn everything to the performance i put power settings on max but did you not know there was a way to make a custom resolution? Now, Rust supports custom resolutions. So if you have this type of menu, you just go to custom resolutions. Well, if you're using a newer Intel graphics, then the menu is going to be different, but it still applies. So here, you just, you know, type in a resolution like 640 by 360 which is basically 360p true widescreen resolution and then you put your refresh rate 60 then you just click add and click yes but i already have that resolution as you guys can see i have been experimenting with custom resolutions so yeah so if you're rocking a intel uh, hd uh, 4000 graphics i think you will have a chance to play rust it won't be like the best experience but it'll be more playable with the Intel 4000 than the 3000. People with the with a 3000 or lower, I'm sorry to say, but Rush is just unplayable. Like honestly, it just sucks. So like when I'm playing, I play with a resolution of 768 by 432. If I go lower, I cannot read font at all. Like the font's just literally like a child just writing scribbles. You can't read that shit. So. I did try with a lower resolution anyway, knowing I can't read jack shit. After uh, playing around with the resolution, performance does have a slight increase, but barely. My GPU usage was still maxed the fuck out. 
it's insanity. And then my CPU here is just taking it easy and being like, uh, the GPU got this. So yeah, let me just launch up Rust for you guys. I'm going to use MSI Afterburner. I had Fraps open because I was testing GTA 5. By the way, GTA 5 does run, but it does not run very well. I'm trying to figure out how to cut the uh, rendering resolution, but it doesn't work for some reason. I couldn't find a file for that. Otherwise, GTA 5 would have been very playable on this system. <laughs> okay, now, anyways, let's see. So we got that going. I'm just going to launch up Rust for you guys. Sorry for the uh, not uploading any videos lately. I've been busy and... I had to reset my computer, so yeah, that's uh, another thing. I reset this computer, and it works much better because there were some games I couldn't play, like Rust and GTA 5. It didn't launch for some reason. By the way, I upgraded my laptop to eight gigabytes of RAM. I'm gonna tell you this right now: if you have four gigabytes of RAM, just you can't play Rust. Okay, you just can't. You have to upgrade your computer. If your laptop's upgradable, I recommend going to um, a website to get RAM that fits your system. I got mine from new new egg new egg dot com. I think I think that's what it's called. I got two day free shipping and I got RAM four gigabytes of RAM that cost thirty dollars and with free shipping came in two days. So I was pretty happy about that. Now Russ. Now if you're wondering, well. I have, you know, what can I at least try? I think it might work. Uh, or I saw someone else playing it with 4 gigabytes of RAM. No, it's not going to work, okay? People that play with 4 gigabytes of RAM, they're lucky, okay? That's just basically luck. Like, Rust is still being updated and all that stuff. But for me, I noticed that Rust uses 7 gigabytes of RAM to, like, 7,000 7, to 700. Or it uses, like, 5 gigs. It's a little bit random, but that's how. But if you're, but if you're able to launch this at like four, um, with four gigabytes, then yeah, sure, you got lucky. But try moving around. You're probably gonna have a lot of stutters, or the game's just gonna crash. I remember playing, trying to play this game with four gigabytes of RAM. When I load into the world, like I saw myself sleeping, and then the game just crashed. My computer crashed. Had to reboot. So yeah. If you have a computer that doesn't have 8 gigabytes of RAM, just, just stop, okay? Uh, my CPU, I'm using the Intel i5 uh, 2540M, which is clocked at 2.5 and can turbo boost up to 3. My system is not turbo boosting up to the max it can go. I'm not sure because of like overheating problems or something like that, but it's staying at its stock speed, which is fine. Now my GPU, I am using the PHP. Let's see, uh, God, PhD GD custom drivers that are made to increase your GPU's performance. So yeah. Now, I, I just wanted to say that um, I'm gonna try to upload one video a week because um, it's starting to get to that time of year where I have to go back to a place called school. So, yeah, I'm going to try to upload one video per week and see if I can get that going. And sorry for not uploading any videos again. It's just I've been, I've been busy with some things and rebooting the computer. So, as you guys can see right here to the right, RAM usage is already past 4 gigabytes. So, this is where my system would usually crash because of my RAM. They can see that RAM's, um, you know, starting to travel up a little bit. There was even time where, like, when the game actually finished loading all the assets, it went to, like, 7 gigabytes. So I was like, man. Because I was literally going to get 2 more gigabytes of RAM and have 6 gigabytes total. But I'm glad I got 8. Because now I can run games like this without it crashing. Or, in general, not have my windows crash at all. So, assets are loading pretty quickly. Now, guys, I'm just going to say this. Like, if you really want Rust to be able to be playable, just honestly, just, you know, go to, like, Face Studio, Face Punch Studio's support and just be like, yo, bring back the Disable Shadows um, feature because that helped me able to play the game. Like, literally, that's literally the reason why everyone was able to play the game. And with them moving to the Unity 5 engine, it's just causing a big problem. 
And then like I'm you I'm going on YouTube and Chrome just searching all these like tutorials and I just see a lot of bullshit going on around with how to increase performance with Rust. Download this, clean all your junk, defrag your um, system hard drive, all the yada yada yada. Some of those things actually work. I tried doing the services. I did the clean my hard drive, deleted um, temp files, junk files, put my computer on high performance mode, and yeah. I, look, if you do that, there are going to be like one video that actually helps. And it gave me probably a few more frames, but that's it. There's nothing else you can really do. So, yeah. Now we're just going to let this load in unless my system crashed from because of the CPU. Oh, man, it's this is going to actually struggle my uh CPU cuz CPU is very important. I'm I want to tell you guys right now, if your computer um has like a graphics card uh, that like you know like a dedicated graphics card like a Diddy or AMD use it instead of the integrated card just make sure you check that and also if your computer is capable of you know like with my Dell Latitude E6420 I can exchange the motherboard with the Nvidia which has the built-in graphics so mine's compatible meaning I can just change the motherboard and be able to use a better graphics card that can overclock even too so the real reason why I haven't done that yet is because I don't have a heat sink. And so if I don't have that heat sink, the computer's just going to crash from playing games that are 3D. That's the real reason why. So the game's finished loading, it's just downloading skins. I'm just going to skip that. And we're just going to be here. So yeah, um, I got raided, of course, because one, because, you know, my door is missing. It's gone. I got raided. They took all my guns. I had a, I had a guns right here, some ammo. Uh, had some good armor. Uh, they even killed me too because they thought I had something on me. Uh, or they just killed me because I, because I, you know. So yeah, I got, I got looted. They even took all my cooked food. They just left me with raw shit. So yeah, this is rest. Yeah, me and a friend are playing on this um, server. Well, multiple friends, but yeah. I'm, I'm not sure who raided me, but one of these bitches raided me. Because this was not here. And then this over here was not here. And they even took all of the uh, claw plants that were we were using the farm for cloth. The, so yeah. I know, a lot of people start off with fucking cold blocks. Like, oh shit. So, this is, yeah, this is how, what I'm getting right now. Yeah, so, this is what the shadows look like. Now, you, you may be saying, like, this, the shadows are complete shit. I'm not even sure how, like, you know, like, it's just pixelated. Like, you should, your computer shouldn't be struggling. I, I know it's pixelated, but that's the issue here. So, like, so, like, the shadows are rendered from like a certain distance so it's the, the distance is 50 that's like how far you can render shadows so everything that's like close to me in 50 uh, radius can be rendered so when I'm like not near a spot it's too rendered so probably like up there so that's the issue here if shadows were off I'd be in like the 25 frames and like the probably the lowest frame I'll get in Rust is 20 if Shadows wasn't a thing. And also, um, like, the distance. Like, if I can turn the rendering distance, like, like, at least bring it down to, like, the water, like, at the end of the water, then the frame would also be increased. So, yeah. It's like an 8-bit. It's basically an 8-bit version of a shadow right there. Uh, back in the old days... So yeah, this is a uh, rust. Kind of hard to aim. You guys can see the GPU's maxed out. You can tell like the uh, GPU's the bottleneck right here. 
for many reasons. The CPU, I'm not sure what the CPU is even doing. Only half of it's being used, and I have a hyper threading on too. So if you're near a location that's not like GPU hungry, or like there's not like a lot going around, GPU is going to be fine. It's going to be like using 70%. But if you're like looking over here where there's like a bunch of trees, that GPU is going to go back up to 100. So here, 80%, 70%. Back over here, 99% maxed out. Temperatures even start going higher. CPU uses just a little bit go up. But yeah, this is uh, this is what I'm working with here. This is what I am working with. You guys may be saying, um that hey this is uh playable it's a way player than what i have but guys i'm i'm being honest here i can't play like this i cannot help my friends out when raiding people i cannot defend myself because my mouse has major freaking delays here because of the well not delays but like it's just sluggish because of the frame rate so yeah and then like traveling it's just i'm in an area that gives me 13 frames and someone's getting raided as you can hear so yeah, this is the best I can do, and I should probably, I'm not sure what I'm doing here, but I'm, I'm, I'm just going to put my body right here. So we're just going to, mm, eh, mm, yeah. So guys, yes, if you have a computer that has a better graphics card than me, better than the Intel 3000, then yes, you will possibly be able to play Rust. But if you have four gigabytes of RAM, get that shit upgraded, okay? I'm going to tell you this one more time. You have to upgrade the RAM. This thing is going to use up so much RAM, it's going to crash your system, or your game's just going to crash. So I'm just going to get that out of the way. And then after that, just make sure the graphics card you have is slightly better than my Intel HD 3000, or if it is better by a lot then good you'll be able to play rust just fine um i would try not to play with a like a 300 server like the server i was playing was like 50 which is actually fine you can actually find a good amount of people around the world so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if it helps you um i know i was i didn't go into like big details on like how to really increase your performance but I just wanted to like get this out of the way and just tell you guys like what I know from experience and what I've what if I, what I have tried. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy, and please leave a like down below and a comment if it helped. And if you guys need any tips on um how to make Rust playable, just comment down below. Uh, and also I want to mention one more thing before I end the video, C launch commands. So. Wow, never mind. Okay, uh, some launch commands don't work with Rust anymore, like the DirectX 9 command. They took that out, meaning you cannot play in DirectX 9 anymore, which is a shame. Really, it is. Because that means that DirectX 9 cards aren't supported anymore, and that uh, people who had those cards are now out of luck and have to upgrade. So yeah, some commands don't work. I find the minus high command does not work, and I find the DirectX to be, gives you the crash error. So don't use that, and do not use G, uh, GL Core. That will crash your game too. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later.